Just a bit of background about yourself, Brad, and your family orchard. Uh, I'm Brad Fankhauser, I'm a, a fourth generation apple grower. Uh, my family's been growing apples for over 120 years. Um, started in close suburbs in Melbourne and eventually moved out here over a period of time. Our orchard has changed dramatically in the last five to ten years. We've gone to much more intensive planting systems. We get a better yield early on the high density plantings. Okay, what, what was the catalyst for changing over from the older traditional style plantings to the more high density plantings and, and what what system is this? What's the spacing, like tree spacing and row spacing of uh, this system? The reason, the reason for change was uh, every time you invest in a new variety you need to make that, get that return on investment as quick as possible, uh, we know, which was phenomenal for us. We've never seen that kind of production in a, in a two year old tree. Um, and that puts us well on the track to reaching out 200 tonnes within in five years. Uh, this year we anticipate somewhere around the 40 tonne mark. Uh, and each year it should, next year it should increase about 60 to 70 tonne remain at that level for the next 15, 20 years. Is there any um, negative side to high density plantings at all? I don't think there's any negative side, but there is a lot of new new learning to be done. Um, so it's a different different ball game altogether. This was our first attempt with the, uh, the new dwarf rootstock, so to speak. This was planted some 15 years ago as well. Uh, these are on M26. The row spacing was 5.5 metres and the trees were uh, originally about three and a half metres apart. Uh, we quickly realised that three and a half metres between the trees was, was not, not close enough. We put another tree in between the following year. Slowly, very slowly, we've got our production up to a reasonable tonnage of around about 45 tonnes, which for Gala is, is acceptable. Um, by putting them in at the wrong distance and wrong spacings, uh, not really knowing exactly what we're doing, we uh, fell behind rather rapidly in here. Uh, and it's, it's taken us a long while to get this block up to production levels required. So you're trying to get more height now? Or? Yeah, look, the last last two or three seasons have been trying to get the height, uh, to get more tree row volume. We've been concentrating on the line pruning once again in here. It's a nice, simple, basic system. Uh, anyone can, can do, go and do it. It's very easy to instruct your staff to, to prune with a the key is to get the tree row volume up there to get your tonnage. Without tree row volume you don't get, you can't get tonnage. This is an older a block, probably one of your more original. Have you changed your sort of style of pruning on these older trees to what you would have, or what you would have say 10 years ago? Or is the yeah, line pruning something you've been doing for a long time? Now. We've been shifting onto the line pruning. So here you can see a nice line of buds coming down, a really nice branch coming out, plenty of apples on it. That is a shift we've had over the last 10 years. Previously you would have possibly chop, cut these off. What are you, what are you building here, Brad? Uh, this is a new tower spray we built to uh, uh, get a bit of more efficient coverage over the new high density plantings, all the single leader, uh, central leader trees. Um, the trouble with our old actual sprays, the, the uh, air blast sprays is you're pushing water from uh, you know, three, four foot high, trying to reach 14, 15 feet high with it. That's a very efficient way to do it. Uh, this way we've machine set up, we can uh, target certain zones of the tree with each spray head uh, and we can comfortably reach the top of the trees from here. Uh, it should spray down about 200 litres a hectare, which is nice and efficient. Now how long has this been in the, in the building situation? Um, well, I managed to score the uh, spray pump for nothing off a, off a vegetable grower. We modified the, the booms on it instead of laying horizontal and now lay and they stand vertical. Uh, but it's taken us probably uh, a good part of winter to get this one done. Yeah, a few hours here and there. So it's ready to go this season? Ready to go, just finished wiring up last week. Should be good. And overall, how, how much does it cost you to set up? Uh, well, I've got given the spray unit for nothing. Uh, but overall, it probably cost me around about two and a half, three thousand dollars 3000 It's a pretty cheap spray. It should be pretty effective. And what percentage of your orchard would be suitable for this machine? Uh, we now have about 70% of the orchard uh, ready to use for this machine. Uh, naturally the old bar shaped trees, it's got no hope of fitting down there. Uh, and the old air blast is still a good unit in that situation. It's just not effective in the high density central leaders.